Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video. I did a video like this months and months ago, um, which was my looking through my Unit 1 GCSE art book. So today I have for you my Unit 2 GCSE art book. So I also did this in Year 10, as I explained in my last video that I did like this. Um, I did two books in Year 10 and two books in Year 11. My last video that I did like this seemed to get really, really positive response. Um, I managed to reply to all of the comments and just thank you so much for like the great response, I wasn't expecting it at all. So I thought that it would be a good idea to do my unit two because a lot of people seemed to find it helpful. Um, so yeah, I've got my unit two book today, which I'm very excited about. And this book was all about, um, we did a fashion topic. So my teacher chose this. We spent months researching different um, fashion designers and looking at materials and themes and things like that. And then we created a, um, it was like a sculptural fashion design piece. Um, and we took part in a fashion show. Like everyone in my class took part in a fashion show at a different school and it was like a competition. Um, so I don't have the actual dress to show you because to be honest, it ended up pretty much falling apart. I'm sure it's in the bin somewhere now, but um, I've got pictures of it and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into looking at my Unit 2 GCSE art book. So this was my title page for the whole book. The theme was 100 years for the fashion show, so that's why that's on the title page. This is basically just a title page. Um, I found a Vogue sort of illustration that I really liked online, so I did a copy of that, and this is using watercolour paint and then um, some black fine liner for the details. And then the first piece of work that we did was a double page on undergarments. So we did lots of research into the different sorts of undergarments that there were and how it's changed over time. And then we had to do basically a mixed media collage page of anything to do with fashion. So I found loads of different designs that I liked. Um, a lot of them were recycled because the the theme for our fashion show was 100 years, but it had to be made out of recycled materials. So I included some um, garments that were made from newspapers here. Um, these were made from like CD, bits of CD. Um, so yeah, it's basically just a mixed media page of lots of different design ideas that I liked the look of. Then we moved on to researching fashion designers. So I picked two fashion designers, the first one being Dolce & Gabbana. Um, because I really really like their designs and here I've sort of got a timeline of different designs that they've done throughout their work um, and I've got a quote there it says when we design it's like a movie we think of a story and we design the clothes to go along with it so I thought that was really nice so I've just basically done some research on them then the next fashion designer that I focused on was Alexander McQueen absolutely love his designs I actually went to the I think it was the V&A Museum because um, he had a collection on there at the time that I was producing this work. So that's where I got this little booklet from. Um, and then I did an artist recreation up here. So this was done in Biro and it's just a copy of um, one of his designs. Then we moved on to researching a decade. So our teacher um, asked us to research a decade. It could be anything that we wanted. So I chose the 1960s because at the time um, I was also doing textiles and my theme for textiles was the swinging 60s. So it fit quite nicely. So it sort of linked into each other. So I've just done a design here with the um, print from a brand that was very popular, which was Mary Quant. Um, so that the flower print on this design was sort of inspired by her. This is another piece that I did using black fine liner pen and water and I just sort of put the fine liner pen down and then got water on a brush to create this sort of watered down effect. It almost looks like watercolour paint. So I did that and then my grandparents had an old CD that they didn't need anymore so they let, they let me use that. Um, so I just put that there and did lots of research into what was going on at the time of the 1960s. So not necessarily just fashion, but I looked into films and music and the mods and the rockers and different fashion designers. So then we went into looking more in depth at our theme for our fashion show. Um, so the theme was 100 years and this is basically just a massive mind map of everything to do with 100 years. So things that have happened in the last 100 years, things that happened 100 years ago, what could happen in 100 years. 
so it could be anything really. And then I've just done some design ideas using, well what I did was I started off with this which is just like watercolour paint and then I photocopied it onto acetate and just stuck um, bits of tissue paper down so then when you flip it it creates this like dress. And then on this side I did the same design, photocopied it um, in black and white and then I stuck down like loads of different bits from magazines, anything that was like pink coloured um, and overlaid that on top just because I thought it looked pretty. <laughs> then I moved on to my first final idea or my first few final ideas. So I was thinking about going for an Alice in Wonderland type theme. So on this page I've just got a mood board, lots of different images to do of Alice in Wonderland and 100 years in general. And then I did my first couple of ideas. So I did this poppy one, but I didn't really like it. Um, and I did this Queen of Hearts sort of idea. Then moving on to fabric samples, um, I tested out lots of different things that my dress could be made out of. So I've got magazines, sweet wrappers, this was tissue paper scrunched up and then spray paint on top. I've got bin bags, um, playing cards and some leather that's done in like a weaved sort of effect. Then moving on to my final idea, I decided that I wanted to focus on um, sort of social media but more to do with like magazines and how magazines can portray things and twist things. So I've got magazine covers all on the top and then I've got like social media brands at the bottom and I've got some sweet wrappers just because I liked making these sweet wrapper flower things. So this was what my final piece turned out like. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, it didn't really, it's sort of linked to 100 years um, with the idea of how social media has evolved over the last 100 years and 100 years ago, things like Facebook and Twitter weren't, like computers weren't even really around. And um, my idea was like sort of how technology's evolved in the last 100 years and things like that. So this is the, I did, Two pieces, a top and a skirt. So the skirt, you can see quite clearly here, it's just magazine covers. And the sweet wrappers around the middle and then the top was quite similar. Then after all of that, I decided to go and do a shop display report. So I went around Christmas time and took loads of pictures of the shop displays because along Oxford Circus, they always have really, really nice shop displays. So I went to Burberry, Harrods, Harvey Nichols and Ted Baker and just wrote about how the clothes were shown in those, in those displays, what was most effective, and yeah, it just, it was quite fun to do really. And then to finish off the book, I've just done two um, artist recreations. The first one is colour pencil, and then this one is a bit of a mix of watercolour and fine liner pen. And that is everything, I think, yeah. So this book was a lot more focused on fashion rather than actually creating my own art. It was taking a lot of inspiration from different designers. But I hope you enjoyed looking at my Unit 2 book. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.